And it's pretty sad to see a beautiful animal like this in this shape suffering. So, I, don't, I don't know, I can't, I can't imagine having this on my skin. Most of them had scabies, so it's a, a, a really big problem, but it's not, it doesn't have an easy solution, because when, so there is two, two ways to manage scabies, you either shoot them all, and you're not going to never stop it, because foxes have them, wild boars, they transmit, so you're never going to finish with it, and at the same time, uh, if you shoot the ones that have created the immunity to the scabies and are recovering from it, uh, those are the typical individuals that you should keep. So there is a big balance between what to take and what not to take, and there is not a straight answer. So. Since the nanny is so bad, we're gonna try to shoot you first, so the nanny doesn't go away. Shoot the nanny first, and then go for for the kid. I would say that this is like terminal phase when they are really bad, and actually the nanny hasn't moved much. So yeah, let's get set up.
Hey Dakota, I'm glad that you're here, buddy. Definitely. Congratulations on. Thank you. Appreciate your, that. Your first Ibex is not everything. It's not about trophies all the time. So the scab is here. It's a big problem, and we managed to get both. You made a great shot. The kid took a while for the kid to come out because they were kind of in the border of that hill. But he came out, and we were able to also finish the kid. But I think like some people no, may yeah. may see. Uh, us shooting a kid and he's like, why would you want to shoot a kid? But uh, we harvested the mother, uh, the kid also had a, a discavis infection, so that's the right thing to do and we are going to still take care of the meat. So, Yeah, I mean, it, I noticed that these Ibex never really left that little hole, hill right there. They kind of hanging in the same spot. I mean, it, they were in really rough shape for sure. Yeah, so, yeah, good management. So. A good way to start. You might as well get it started somehow, right? <laughs> uh, for Danny? Oh. So. Super bad shape, check the lips. Oh yeah. So the nanny is, I don't know, like around 12 years old. And this is the last phase of the scabby, so this female was not recovering. And they end up actually killing the animals. Yeah, it looks really rough around the mouth and they get skinny. Yeah, it came from domestic cattle. And it's very easy to treat scabies with domestic cattle because it's just an injection of mm -hmm. hypermectin, or I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, but the thing is about wildlife is that you cannot inject that. And if you give, give that uh, medicine through food, uh, it's very hard to get the right amount mm -hmm. to take it off. And you need to treat animals twice uh, in, in a period of 15 days. Oh, wow. So the wild animals is very hard, but domestic cattle is just like super easy. Just one injection. 15 days, the second one, and they are all gone. But How long has it been in the area? It got really bad, like from two years ago oh. or three, but it's expanding quick. And it has a really tough solution. Mm. They just need enough time, the, uh, the animals to adapt to be able to, because the scabies is a parasite on the skin. Okay. So they need to be able to adapt to living with it and to be stronger and to defend the immune system against the but at the end, just like the shape, you can see the shape of this animal is just like... Yeah, it's definitely losing weight, for sure. Yeah, I mean, they end up with the eyes that they cannot see, the mouth, it's so dry. Uh, here, it's super dry, I don't know, just not good. And this is part of hunting also, and that's why hunting is conservation. Like, we really care about these animals, and we need to try to figure out how to make them live in the best shape possible. Yeah, say, if this, Ibex was around other Ibex, is it, that's how they, they can spread it from one another as well? Yeah. So it's not just from domestic directly to them? No, and, and they spread it between each other, but also through other animals too. Oh. So it's it's very hard to, I mean, it's basically impossible to control. But oh. in general, what you need is to keep good, balanced populations. All these uh, diseases and all that start overcoming when there is too many animals, mm -hmm. and so that's why you need to hunt every single species of animals or whatever to keep a balance between males nature and females too and also the food and the terrain and everything so well good glad job, i could do my part good job thank you yes, sir but, mm -hmm. so the kid is also really really infected you can see the mouth and everything so it's in a very, it's in a late stage of the scabies. So and it's pretty sad to see a beautiful animal like this in this shape suffering. So I, don't, I don't know. I can't. I can't imagine having this on my skin.
This is Dakota. The, this is the tag system. Mm -hmm. Both males and females have. But the main difference is that the tags are given by the government depending on the amount of terrain you have and the amount of animals you have. So they review that every year. What day is today? One? First of December? It is. So is there a kid tag and a nanny tag? Yeah. Okay. This, this is a nanny and this will be youngster. Fight from Billy's one of two or two years old. Mm. Actually, like the, the meat is fine, it's just a skin disease. The main thing is that you need to be careful when handling the animal and you and skin it to try to not touch your face and everything, but it should be good eating. The main problem is like on the female, like they get really skinny because of the weak mm -hmm. health. It's yesterday. Thank you, sir. Oh. It had really bad, like the scabies, it was super bad, both the nanny and the kid. Sometimes for profi, sometimes for management. Exactly. Congrats, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Danny. Danny is the boss here. He owns as much as you can see. He's from Daniel. <laughs> I am the owner, I sell quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's not big. I've seen a couple of females. One of them has scabies and no kid. So it's like the perfect management. Female in, in both ways doesn't have a kid. And it has scabies, so we're gonna get ready.
Well done, eh? Nice voice. Hey. Hey. Guillermo is here in the background, <laughs> holding <laughs> the lights. Holding the lights and everything, just doing the dumb stuff. <laughs> Teaching them how to shoot. And as you saw in the video, both down, because I'm here, I'm <laughs> them. So, congratulations, boys. You some Great you. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. I think the first thing is to do paper, scissors and, and rock, or how do you say it? A stone? I say you shot it, so you go get it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, right, let these guys do, do it. it. <laughs> Job done. Wet feet. <laughs> we got it. This is a super old nanny. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, maybe nineteen or eighteen. Jeez. With the sky cabies and that's probably why she didn't have a, a kit yeah. because it's probably empty already. So perfect animal to take in both ways. You can see already the mouth. So That's perfect. Right. Okay. Awesome shot too. Yeah. Nice work. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I would touch you guys, but I don't yeah. Know. <laughs>